Okay, I just have two. Well, I can only speak for um, our intention and our responsibility. And we feel it's important to be open and candid about the threat from Russia. It's not just words, of course. You are seeing specifics uh, that we've been laying out here, including over 100,000 troops on Ukraine's borders, uh, amassed on the border with more troops and weaponry on the way. Uh, they've also been surging troops into Belarus, which our uh, UN ambassador spoke about this morning, seeing about five, a surge of 5,000 troops in Belarus with plans for more in the coming weeks. Uh, we're also seeing Russia undertake efforts to destabilize Ukraine, including through a possible false flag operation. It's dangerous. Uh, we've been saying for more than a week that Russia could invade at any time. Uh, I would note, though, that um, our effort is to ensure we're informing the American public and the global community of the seriousness of this threat, even as we work with the Ukrainians, with the Europeans, to ensure we are not only preparing them and providing them supplies that they need, uh, but standing up and making clear to the Russians what the consequences will be. So I can't speak to the uh, motivation or the reasoning uh, for the comments of uh, Ukrainian leadership. I can only speak to what our efforts are here. And, uh work to, to coordinate uh, with any state, uh, but I don't have any more details at this point. Our view is that sanctions can be an effective tool of deterrence, and the deepening sell-off in Russian markets reflects our message, our message to uh, Russia. Uh, but we are uh, in these conversations uh, with Congress, and we look forward to continuing those. Um, I can confirm we have developed specific sanctions packages for both Russian elites and their family members if Russia further invades Ukraine. These efforts are being pursued in coordination with allies and partners. The individuals we've identified are in or near the inner circle of the Kremlin and play a role in government decision making or at a minimum complicit in the Kremlin's destabilizing behavior. Many of these individuals are particularly vulnerable targets because of their deepened financial ties with the West, meaning they would be hurt by sanctions that are tying them to Western financial systems. Uh, I would also note that this is just one piece of our effort to hit Russia from all angles. And this is when Jake Sullivan came here several weeks ago and talked about how this will be far above and beyond what we're considering 2014. A lot of what we did in 2014 was around individuals, right? And we're talking about major parts of the financial financial system. But there is a package. Uh, we have developed specific sanctions packages for both Russian elites and their family members.